In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Novena in preparation for the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross. Day 8. The Cross as a Sign of Victory. Opening Prayer. Almighty God, through the cross of your Son, you conquered sin and death, bringing us new life. As we approach the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross, may we remember that the cross is not a sign of defeat but of victory. Help us to live in the triumph of Christ, trusting in His power to transform our lives. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Scripture Reading 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18 For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. Reflection The world often views the cross as a symbol of failure, an instrument of death and humiliation. But for Christians, the cross is the greatest sign of victory. Through it, Jesus triumphed over sin, death, and the powers of darkness. In his resurrection, he showed that the cross is not the end but the beginning of eternal life. The apparent defeat of Good Friday is transformed into the glorious victory of Easter Sunday. As followers of Christ, we are called to live in this victory every day. The challenges and trials we face may sometimes feel overwhelming, but we are never alone. The power of the cross assures us that God can bring triumph out of every struggle. When we unite our lives with Christ, we share in His victory and can face anything with confidence knowing that nothing can separate us from his love. Today, let us reflect on how we can live more fully in the victory of the cross. Do we trust in God's power to overcome the difficulties in our lives? How can we share this message of hope and victory with others who are struggling? Meditation Do I truly believe that the cross is a sign of victory in my life? How can I live more boldly in the power of the cross? trusting that God will bring good out of every trial. In what ways can I be a witness to others of the victory Christ has won over sin and death? Prayer of Petition Lord Jesus, through your death and resurrection, you have conquered sin and death. Help us to live in the victory of the cross each day, trusting in your power to transform our lives and the world around us. Strengthen us in moments of doubt and despair, reminding us that your victory is ours as well. We place before you our petitions for this novena. Here mention your petitions. May your cross be our strength and our hope as we journey toward eternal life. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Closing Prayer We adore you. O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. May we always trust in the power of your victory over sin and death. Through the intercession of Mary, who stood with you in both suffering and triumph, may we live as witnesses to your saving love. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.